witness the arrogance of thieves in suits from their wealth and comfort as they spend the American treasure of generations yet unborn. I think I should tell the gentleman who just spoke that I'm told that his veterans bill is actually in the omnibus. Uh, he's got a bill in this. Buried in the omnibus is even more money for wokeism in the government and the military. They want to teach our kids that America is inherently bad and that you should distrust and hate your fellow Americans. A new direction is coming. 11 days, Republicans will deliver. After listening to that, it's clear he doesn't have the votes yet. That is dangerous because there is so much garbage. There are people struggling, maxing out credit cards to get gasoline. Another year of the left's big government socialist agenda right before the end of Democrats' one-party rule in Washington. A vote for this omnibus bill is a vote for America last. Rubber stamping wasteful pork projects like LGBTQ museums, to be friendly highways and everything in between. Empowering alphabet agencies like the ATF with more money as bureaucrats destroy our nation and infringe on our freedoms. The Volk left wants to further divide Americans against each other based upon race, sex, and background. These type of woke handouts should not be funded by taxpayers. It's jam-packed with wokeism. A minority leader came to the floor and was criticizing community projects. Maybe he doesn't know this, but let me inform him that over a hundred of his members on the Republican side requested and received uh, community projects, all of which I'm happy to say were vetted, uh, but, maybe, but, maybe, yeah, but maybe he is suggesting that they should all give them back, uh, because I know they're going to vote no on this bill and they go home and do a press release and do a press conference. Witness Louisiana. then the demise of a nation once great. They're comfortable with taking the position that they're better managers of our nation's decline. But witness ye also that the American people have had enough. Veterans must pay for medical foster homes out of their pocket or through private insurance. This bill would fix that. My bill would authorize the Secretary of the VA to enter into contracts and agreements for placement of up to 900 veterans a day in medical foster homes. These veterans are unable to live independently. Finally, the VA would provide these veterans with full interdisciplinary home care that includes physicians, nurses, rehabilitation therapists, mental health care providers, dietitians, and pharmacists. This package is designated to sideline side the incoming Republican majority to sideline incoming Speaker Kevin McCarthy by extending many programs in this bill for multiple years and providing large funding increases for Democrat priorities. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm prepared to close. Thank God. Okay. Uh, go ahead. <laughs>